Hey, and welcome to my career exploration video. My name is Camille Butcher and I work in recruiting at Dropbox. So I'm going to walk you through a little bit of my path and how I got here and how um, I learned about myself along the way. So a little bit about my background and education. I'm from a multicultural background. I was born in France, spent preschool and elementary in the US, moved back to France, um, middle high school and college and uh, up until recently I was in France but I've been abroad now again for six years two in London and four in San Francisco so a lot of different backgrounds different um, ways of thinking and mindsets that have brought me to where I am today that I think um, can be difficult uh, at certain times it's always difficult to move uh, around the world and uh, requires a lot of uh, energy and excitement for adventure but in the end um, it's been really uh, one of my strengths so throughout school college I think the biggest thing for me was all these courses that I took they all taught me that you learn to learn so learning skills learning thought processes leaning learning how to do things that don't necessarily apply for your day to day, but give you some sort of way to, of thinking about problems and how to resolve them later on in work have been really helpful. So I'm really happy that I got all the experiences um, that I did and that got me to where I am because now um, all of these different experiences can translate in my day to day work and just make me an even better um, person. I would say that um, what was maybe a little bit hard other than moving frequently was finding my vocation um, was a little tricky. I definitely think that I knew what my skills were, I knew where my passions were, and I was when I was thinking of going to college, I wanted to find something that I was passionate about that I was going to have fun doing and that would translate well to work later. So communications, uh, languages, and being creative, um, those are some of my strengths and they brought me to communications and advertising. Um, and all of those skills I still use today even though I am not in communications and advertising, I am in recruiting. but. Um, I still use them in many different ways in my day-to-day -day job. So what was my path in terms of really like career work? Um, I started in 2010, I actually graduated in 2009, um, but it was a fin financial crisis that year, so it was kind of hard for me to be on the market and look for a job in 2009, so it took a few months of job searching and interviewing um, and what I really wanted to focus on was finding a company for me what was important was a company that really believes in its employees um, that helps them grow helps them learn and Apple for me had a reputation of just being a great place to, to start off their career and and learn so that's um, I found a job at Apple it was a very exciting time for Apple. They were just opening their third store in all of France, so it was very exciting. Um, I met a lot of great friends. Um, Apple retail has a tendency to have a lot of um, younger employees in store, so I met a lot of people that were going through kind of the same things as I were was at the time. Um, and I didn't have any formal training in payroll at all, um, but had gone through a year of HR courses uh, throughout college and they were willing to just that they believed in me and they were willing to train me um, so I picked up really quick and again that goes back to the idea of learning how to learn just being agile thinking quick on your feet I think really um, was helpful for me to adapt very quickly to something I didn't know much about and then that path led me to become a recruiting coordinator in their office in London. I was very excited for the opportunity. I have always wanted to continue to travel um, professionally in addition to personally, so 
that was exciting for me. And then four years ago, I moved to San Francisco, found an amazing job at Dropbox as a recruiting coordinator. Um, on paper, it looks like it's the same <laughs> title, but you realize that different companies have different ways of working. And I learned so much about the San Francisco Bay Area and the way Dropbox does things. And it just gave me an extra perspective and an extra skill set um, of things I could use in my career. The fact that I had to change jobs is, um, you know, brought me that ability. And I'm so grateful to have worked for two companies that are really great, um, people focused, and um, just helped me how to grow. And along the way, what I like to do is try things out on my own. So I've done a lot of LinkedIn learning courses where I heard of some jobs that you know sound very interesting, but I'm not quite sure what that entails and things like project management, program management, what does that mean? Um, so I've been doing a lot of LinkedIn learning courses and also found mentors around me that were awesome, um, that I took as role models in the work life and just like tried to mimic whatever they did. Um, and then I raised my hand a lot. I would say that that was one of my biggest skills. As soon as I was curious and something really like um, called my attention, I raised my hand. I got on board for projects, tried to learn new things. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Not everything um, is gonna be a passion project, but you will always learn something along the way. So I guess, Throughout this, I never really had a clear career path as some might when they go into medicine, for example. They always know they want to be a doctor and, and that's a very clear path. But for me, it was just more learning about who I am as a person, where I can be successful and playing on those skills. And they grow, they grow along the years. Um, just being willing to try things out was, um, was a, a huge advantage and to be any of these roles, um, obviously my core passion is people and, um, and organization. So those really came in handy. Moving on to what people teams do in companies. So people teams are people recruiting, HR, compensation, benefits, um, global mobility. So that's like visa things. Um, it's a lot of different organizations, learning and development included. So the passion for people really falls under people or some companies might call it human resources. Um, the Dropbox um, value is be kind and kind of extraordinary. I think that really resonated with me because um, it means that you want to be human and have empathy and listening to others is really important, but also excel at your job. Um, excel in all your skills and what you can bring to the team is really a key focus in everything that I do. Um, we also believe that uh, individuals make better teams. So for me, what that means is we need a really large gamut, uh, diverse people, from all different backgrounds, from all different uh, ways of life that think differently because that's what brings, like it fosters more ideas and more creativity and more innovation. If we all think the same, it just doesn't create as many options in life. Um, and recruiting is awesome because you have great cross-functional work because it is a, it's a team that really touches every single other organization and within a company so we have people on recruiting who hire engineers but also who hire you know our data analysts our recruiters um, our restaurant team so there's just a lot of great cross-functional work and I think I really enjoy meeting new people and getting different perspectives and, and learning through that um, and overall I think what drives me when I think about people teams and companies that I've worked with is just having a company that has great company values and culture is really important to me. Um, employee life and empowerment, that really means like 
If you have great ideas, you can run with them. They're here to support you. Um, and it's, it's a very open way of exchanging ideas and you don't feel like you're saying anything that, you know, if people don't agree with you, that's okay. And that'll foster even more great ideas. Um, not everybody has to agree, but we can exchange ideas and get to a place where we will all agree. Um, so great opportunities to learn and grow in both of these companies. And that's really what I enjoyed the most. They're both in tech, um, but I think they speak to humans around the world. And that was also very exciting for me. So the global aspect was, was fun. I got to meet a lot of people, travel with work, um, been to Ireland with work. I've, you know, had the opportunity to go to Austin or um, Belgium back when I was in Europe. So I think for me, that was also pretty important was to have a company that could understand my multicultural background and, and just embrace it. So what does a recruiting process analyst do for these companies? Um, what we do is we really dig into processes and identify a way to make lives easier and better. Um, so simplifying, changing things, uh, whether that's for our recruiting team directly or our candidates. So I'm balancing multiple priorities every day. Um, it requires a lot of analytics because we want to make sure that we have data when we um, decide to change something it's really important to have proof that like things aren't working so that was really that's really important for us and I still use my communication skills um, and tailor them to all these cross-functional audiences and different levels of people on the team so it's really great to get exposure to, um, to teams that I would have never gotten exposure to before and we work closely with process innovation and um, just a lot of cross collaboration I would say um, I'm never on my own I have an amazing team an amazing lead um, and I think that's really important to 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 be able to grow in a company and have people that believe in you I think also if I were to say a few skills that are very key to recruiting process analyst and recruiting coordinator is organization. Um, we can juggle multiple priorities, multiple schedules, different time zones and things like that. Um, there's a lot that goes into that and just being organized and agile with our tools and thinking quickly um, when some things go wrong in the recruiting process. It might be because you know, what our, our job application website is down or things like that. Um, we have to think really quickly and, and fix that so that everybody has an amazing experience. And we just wanna make lives easier. So if we can do that, um, we have to be in contact with everybody that's using our processes and our tools so that they can tell us what needs to be fixed. So any tips um, that I, would give would be um, to like working, growing, learning, they all go together. Um, if you are working, I hope that you're learning something new that'll help you grow. And you know, it's all a, just little stepping stones on your career path. Um, being a part of a team for me was really important in teaching me how to be a good human um, in my personal and my work life. Um, I was building my own path and I was owning it. Um, I didn't wait for things to just happen. I was really deliberate in deciding when I wanted to pick up a process or uh, a project that I was interested in and raising my hand. Um, and I also think that feedback is really important. So it's not always easy to hear, but it is such an amazing tool to know where to, to grow and to get better. We're never perfect. There's always things to learn and to build on. So for me, I'm very eager to receive feedback. I ask my lead for this quite often. Um, so it's really important for me to understand that I'm not gonna um, ever be perfect, but I, I really feel like if I can get feedback, I can grow and get better. 
um, and you know always become the expert in my domain. So communication obviously trickles down from that and being open to giving feedback, receiving feedback, sharing different ideas. Um, you're going to be working with people from so many different backgrounds. So having empathy in that communication is also very key. You want to understand that we're all coming from different places. We all have different goals maybe when we're working on projects. Um, so when there is a brainstorm or a discussion, um, trying to understand where the other person is coming from is really important. Um, and group projects, I mean, at school, uh, that was the biggest thing was trying to get a team to work together and um, you might not understand what a person is trying to tell you, but if you understand where they're coming from, it really does help. Um, a few tools that I've also used to grow my skills and to understand my strengths were some of the um, called, they're so-called personality tests or competency um, evaluations, things you might have heard of like MBTI, um, Enneagram, or Lominger. They're all great ways to assess your strengths, your weaknesses, and ways to advance and learn more about yourself so you know where you can become better or, you know, adjust. <laughs> so I would definitely say be curious, raise your hand, be open and willing to try different things out. That have, that have Those are all things that have really helped me in my career. So thank you for listening. I hope this was interesting for you. Um, if you have more questions, I'd be happy to answer them. I really um, love to mentor and you know, I still have mentors on my own. And anyway, um, just trust in yourself and learn to learn. Thanks.